Sally Ride, the first American woman to go into the space. And even today, she remains the youngest American astronaut to have traveled to space. Ride was born on May 26, 1951 in Los Angeles. She was the eldest girl of her parents with a sibling, Karen Beer Ride. Ride's mother was a volunteer chancellor at Women's Correctional Facility and her father being a political science professor at Santa Monica College. Sally has not to suffer what other girls had too, as she has born in the interesting time. It was the time when US went in incredible changes on especially women's rights movement. For graduation, she attended the Westlake Schools for Girls, which is indeed the private school in Los Angeles. This is a place where she developed a keen interest in science and as well as in tennis. She was a girl who wasn't to give up easily. One teacher told her, mind was too scientific without much creativity and that she was smart but wasted in science. By this she got highly depressed, even cried several times. But this does not make her lose but instead this reinforces her desire to continue to study physics. Following high school, she was upcoming as a nationally ranked tennis player. But she eventually gave up playing professionally and attended Stanford University where she earned bachelor degree in both English and as well as in physics. While this, NASA issued a call for new applicants to join the space program. She read the call and was immediately interested and filled out the form. Finally, she was selected by NASA as one of the six astronaut candidates. It was just in the time for the NASA to launch new technology, the Space Shuttle. In August 1979, she completed her NASA training, obtained a pilot's license and became eligible for the US Space Shuttle mission space list. And believe me, she was idol candidate for such a milestone. And the June 18 was a special day, which make her famous, which make her the first American woman to go into the space. And there she also helped in the development of Canada Arm robotic arm. It's the time from which her journey to fame starts. Now let's know a more bit about her personal life. So she married to an astronaut Steve Holley in 1982 but sadly they divorced 5 years later. Wright left NASA in 1987. Later she heavily got herself in working on promoting STEM for women. From her early day she was passionate for equal voice. Thus, in a number of interviews, she felt it was unfortunate that some of the same questions questioning her competence based on her gender, especially questions such as, do you wish you were a boy, were still asked in America. So, she initiated a number of programs and organizations devoted to science and education and provide support for the school girls interested in science, mathematics or technology. In 1994, she received the Samuels Beard Award for Greatest Public Service, which is an award given annually by Jefferson Award. Until that, she wrote many science books and other things for the students and teachers help. She sadly died on July 23, 2012. Honor Honor, US Army announced that a research ship would be named in the honor of right General Mane releases a song called Sally Ride and the one year later after her death she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Now it's your time to recommend us on what you want next and I will really be appreciating your views if you tell me through comments. And now don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for more.